Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Sweetheart, we've done this once before, I think, but we're gonna be browsing some TikToks today that are made better because of the TikTok duet feature. Let's get into it, see what the team's put together for us. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. I like it. I not, only, cute baby. not only because the kid's cute, but <laughs> I think the wizard spell worked. Casually casting one of the unforgivable curses and expects us to forgive him just because he's a baby. Ridiculous. Oh, that's got a lot of likes. Can we stop duetting videos uh -oh. when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Can we stop duetting videos <laughs> we when go, we have baby. absolutely nothing to add to them? Duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. Duetting videos it's so good, when we have dude. absolutely nothing to add to them. It's so good. Duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. Can we stop <laughs> duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Oh, this just can we stop oh. duetting videos He's the dog now? when we have absolutely oh. nothing to add to them? Can we stop <laughs> duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to what add to them? Can we stop? Duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. Can we stop duetting <laughs> videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Stop How duetting does this guy videos get into it? I have when we know. have absolutely nothing to add to them. I don't, I don't need to know what you looked like watching that TikTok. <laughs> I, I remember being like last time being that so impressed deep. by the, the string of ones that continue adding like that. Yes. The out of frame stuff. Unreal. Cranked it. And God bless to whoever rips all of those and then makes it into a compilation and makes it easy for my consumption. Hallelujah. That was a really good one. I'm impressed. Good job, team. This is by far one of the tastiest breakfasts I've had in a while. Oh my, oh my God. God. This is French brioche perdue fourrée à la pâte à tartiner, aka French toast. Did you this even get that? This is by far one of the tastiest breakfasts I've had in a while. <laughs> This is French brioche perdue fourrée à la pâte à tartiner, a.k.a. French toast. Subtle, but funny. I heard and saw nothing <laughs> actually, except for that, de Hit that with the dessert. Geek. I'm gonna call that dessert. You call yeah. it breakfast, I'll call it a treat. I think part of the obesity epidemic in America is because we call that breakfast. <laughs> oh, what'd you have for breakfast? Yeah, uh, four pancakes, 15 gallons of maple syrup, a couple of tablespoons of butter on top. Don't you think other countries or eat maybe, well, a lot? No, a lot of other countries eat sweet stuff for breakfast as well. Certainly, yes. Countries that and might like be bread and countries that might be a little less on the radar of overconsumption as well. That's always the argument like very like Europe versus USA. It's like, well in Europe they eat so many carbs and like they're eating dinner wicked late. And it's like, yeah, well look at what's in our grocery stores compared to what's in theirs and then we can talk about it. Well, I think just the overall amount. Uh eat. definitely the overall amount. There is a, a big rabbit hole around of course. the FDA being captured by big seed oil, you know, the whole nine. Okay. You can go down that route. I'm, and I'm, I'm, on, right I'm on board with it. I'm on board with it. I just want to eat that dessert. Profits over health in this country, 100%. I go in the grocery store now. <laughs> the second I was coming out of my mouth, I was like, I can't say this in front of my wife. How do I phrase this? Because I you got nothing. If I were to be in the grocery store and what I imagine it would look like, I know what a grocery store looks like. I just see like seven out of the ten aisles to me just feel like complete poison. I still eat these things, a lot of them, <laughs> in moderation. I'm a huge champion of whole, just whole natural foods. Unfortunately, it's not an easy diet to. I'm sure you've heard shop the perimeter. Is that what it is? The, the perimeter, yeah. Fruits and veggies All on one side, <laughs> dairy and other shit on the other side, and then everything packaged and owned by General Mills in the middle. See you later. My reaction. Blind react. Yeah, so damn, damn, a powder. Is that coleslaw? Are they gonna put a I'm layer? Like, why do people do that? Shit? Why do people put coleslaw with chicken? Ah! Yeah, you the bullshit now. See you. Just, ah. See you look. <laughs> And he go put the napkins on top. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was wondering where they were going after the yeah. fourth layer of yeah. fucking Thousand Island dressing. I was like, what are we doing? What here? is that? Like a chipotle sauce? Before or? the sauce on the bag, I was into that. They had like buffalo chicken tenders, fries. Aww. I know it was done in excess as a joke, but as a sauce guy, I would it. You can yeah, put as, yeah. you can put as much French dressing on anything. You, you would want. definitely like the outside of the bag. There's times where I've wanted to just drink Thousand Island on the side <laughs> while I'm eating something. God, it's so good. Oh yeah, all the Thousand Island. Super sauce guy. Here's the question, and this is for you guys at home: Is it Thousand Island or is it French dressing? And what's the difference between the two? And is there a difference? And what's your social security number? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> 
I used to know this one. I feel like in the in the restaurant there was a, a particular old guy. We had French dressing, but it wasn't yeah. the right French dressing, and we had to like make his own Thousand Island, which is basically just uh, mayo, mayo, ketchup, and like tartar relish. sauce. Yeah, mayo, relish, and ketchup. I think something like that. Yeah, weird. POV. Gary invites you on a private wine tour. Put me down, Gary. <laughs> This is my idea of a very nice day out. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? I do. I liked it, but no, wow, you're I, really, you're. Uh, it's just because you look at the guy's face initially and I didn't know where it was going, but I'm like, he yeah, looks kind of, he looks kind of psychopathic and immediately. Down, <laughs> this is my idea of a very <laughs> the nice day out. twist. Hold on. <laughs> what the f***? Got him. <laughs> I don't know. I think this guy did a similar duet in the last one we watched. This was like eight months ago or something. The idea of like where it's like you're making a hostage situation out of someone just trying to make like a cool TikTok, but they feel very sociopathic. Okay. Some people just aren't good at like acting natural in front of the camera, so it feels very psycho. And then guys like this make it so funny. I like that a lot. Sorry. I don't know why. It was tickled me pink. That tickled my pickle, hun. It's a different kind of tickle. <laughs> All right. Bro, these are so good. I did not think I was going to enjoy these as much as I did. Wow. They're just f***ing funny. I don't know why. What would you do if you okay. saw me at the red light and I honked my horn at you and we made eye contact <laughs> and I said to you. It's f***ing me up. It is. What's up, baby girl? What would you say? The eye look down at the end. What would you say? I know. That was unbelievably it's accurate. Too good. Oh my god. Like, she has to actress? be she has to be mouthing along with it, right? To make you it have so to. good. You have to. That's creeping me out. What a job though. I wonder how many takes that took. Holy shit. How many balls. takes it took? How many takes it took? <laughs> hey, no, no. Oh. <laughs> well, what would you like? A B C D. Okay. Uh <laughs> Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, this chick Paige, she's been going at it for a while, and she's very talented. I had a correspondence with her one, like years ago, early on, when she was just starting on Instagram. And, like she saw one of my videos that she liked, and I was like, "Oh, you're pretty good." And now, years later, she's got like millions on TikTok. And typical, she's crushing it. Good to see it. Good to see it. I've always been impressed by people that are very good at beatboxing. I have no desire to do it myself, but I'm impressed by the ability to do it. Mouth control. Oh, this lady's you face. Know that it really <laughs> smells like a public restroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It smells oh. like a public restroom. You know what? <laughs> no. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Very good timing on that. <laughs> oh, it takes a little more talent than you might think. Kombucha girl. That was her famous meme. That girl. She's I didn't gone, know it was kombucha. Yeah, that she's gone on. <laughs> I assumed to it was like a beer. Become a pretty prolific social media personality. She's very funny. Brittany, Brittany Gr Griner, Brittany something. Excuse me. Brittany you? Griner. <laughs> the basketball. I forget, but that dude nailed it. Boom. I want to you know see what? this part right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> With the shoulder even too. Good for him. Guys be like, oopsie daisy. Who's daisy? And girls be like, oh no way, Jose. <laughs> Who is Jose? <laughs> wow. Yep. That was a quick hit. Love Just it. a little <laughs> punchline. Uh oh, here we go. Get some. Stop right doing. Yeah. Hold on, I, I think Top Right was the original. You know how sometimes there's a weird sound that like a door makes or something and it sounds like music? No, it's the washing it's machine. It's his washing machine, there we go. That took me a second. That's so good and then they turn it into a blues jam. That was good, I love that. This brings me joy because it's just like, like a, such a good collaborative fun part of the internet. Just one of the beautiful side effects of the collaborative nature of social media. You know, I spend so much time on the negative side of things. It's good to just feel cleansed and watch things that are fun What Lush Life is here for. That's why we're here, hallelujah, amen. Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. <laughs> That's creepy as fuck.
Why do I like these so much? Oh, oh God, this brought a hater. Maybe it came off a little strong, but wow. she's come up again recently because she was huge and then I guess got outed as just a complete fraud and stealing everyone's content. And not only doing the fact things and just completely making things up that make no sense. It's okay to hate someone that's a fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The different foods and drinks, what it take for you to consume oh, before that. it kills you? Well, it would only take about 14 no. glasses of water before your kidneys were just like, <laughs> no. No, Absolutely not true. Not I can, even I a can little smash bit. 14 glasses of water. Same. Yeah. It depends Nobody's on so many Nobody's ever done it before, factors. but about 480 bananas would have enough potassium to just stop your heart. Like, how dare you just come up here and stand here and tell me these things like they're supposed to be true. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. I also don't believe this guy ate 480 bananas, but... I mean... Yeah, you can time lapse that and just be throwing the bananas out. Okay. And, uh, if you eat cherries, you know that sometimes you accidentally eat the pit, but it only take three pits for you to die from cyanide poisoning. Oh yeah, 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 three pits. You die from cherries cyanide poisoning. Like 100 of them or 20 Just of them. Ranking or... 50 cherries. Yeah. Oh, I'm jealous of the bottle of Crown? I am actually, yeah. It's got a little solo cup shot glass. If you were able to take His 14 might be a little bit shots hard of whiskey that. within an hour and not puke. <laughs> What'd she say? Don't. You're able to take 14 shots in an hour and not Oh, oh okay, that's a, uh, that's a little different. Oh. This is a little more dangerous, but... Uh, uh, I don't like this one. No, no. All right. You don't even know he's doing it. Crushed it. I mean, we've seen that people like Steve will do it. If you Like, his early viral success was from him, like, putting a straw in the top of, like, a bottle of Jack Who? Daniels. He's a famous internet guy, he might oh, know. Okay. Steve will do it. People that chug bottles of whiskey. It's Shoe Nice, old school Shoe Nice. You wouldn't know who he is. Some of you guys know who old school Shoe Nice is. He used to do the same thing. They would chug like 750s of whiskey. Don't try that at home. No, absolutely not recommended. Shoe Nice is a sociopath and that is, not good. That is, not, that is not good for you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> On the baby. Ah. Oh my god. It's mean to scare your baby over nothing. You can flip things in a pan this by just oh. flipping the Did you guys know you could stir your coffee with a spoon by just Did you guys know you can <laughs> stir your guitar by only Did you guys know you can brush your teeth like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get after it. Yeah, yeah, that girl stop talking about it. She's always bothering me though. I can see why. Would you body slam me? For a million dollars? Yeah. I can't wait for this duet, but I think anybody would. Yeah, 100%. Obviously. You could be in a wheelchair. I'm not going to kill you. I don't care. Yeah, you could be a quadriplegic, paraplegic, disfigured. I will body slam you through a fucking glass table for a million dollars and probably put your leg up for the three I'd count. I'd let you do it to me. Yeah, I'd put your leg up for the three count afterwards, too. If only I'd do it for $10 in a seminar in a row. <laughs> body slam your ass. Bam! I'd kick you for a donut. I need to see the whole thing again because I'm so in love with it. Homie, I'd do it for ten dollars at a seminar in a row. Body in your ass. Bam! I kick you for a donut. Now you guys need. That to... caught me <laughs> so good. You guys need to the, the, to know the lore about this guy on our channel. Some of you that watch all not our videos. Not just on our channel, but not, also in our household. Not just on our channel. So this. Cinnamon roll guy. He has a viral TikTok of him talking about a cinnamon roll where he could. I think he did that. a duet and it was. It was a duet. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was probably our last and only other duet video. Anyways, we loved it and got a kick out of it. And so our son, who's just turned six recently, as you know, like he calls him a cinnamon. He says cinnamon. Yeah, he says the N and N back. He calls him a cinnamon roll. So we thought that was hilarious. And we were like, oh, Jackson, you got to see this TikTok. So we showed him the cinnamon roll and he fing died. So now every time we're talking about it, he goes, a cinnamon roll. Yeah, we talk about He's it like, all the time. Yeah, we want to, we got to get a cinnamon roll. Or if we're him and I are baking, we'll get the cinnamon in and out. And so all that is to say, this man has a special place in our hearts. Not only that, but we also talked about his hair like beard. I love he's just cranking the cigarette too. This guy is uh, definitely on death's doorstep, but he's making me laugh. God bless him. I hope he lives forever. That just caught me off guard so good in the best way possible. I love that I stopped I did not it too. Know I was he like, was gonna pop I can't wait for this duet. And there he comes, our boy. That's good stuff. $10 in a cinnamon roll. Yeah. I love pizza. You put a little bit. Yo, that's a lot of. Yo! Oh, that's a lot of ranch, pal. You gotta chill out. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, they, sauce guy. 
Your ranch, my guy. Yo. yo. Oh my god, he's covered in fucking ranch! Oh my goodness. I'm I don't just, like Mickey Mouse being fresh. I love it. I'm just so glad I wasn't the guy that had to cover himself in ranch dressing to make social media videos. Maybe he's doing I think well, you but... would have a fun time with that tale of ranch dressing, though. It was like a beach bucket. That was a beach bucket of ranch dressing. Yeah. I'd prefer blue cheese. If you okay, gave me like, right. if you gave me a stack of a hundred delicious buffalo wings, you take blue cheese. I'd get through a decent oh, portion of that Oh, I thought you were saying you'd choose um, blue cheese over ranch. I mean, which it makes sense depends for on the wings. ranch. If it was cheesecake factory ranch, ooh, let's go. Ooh. That might be the best ranch on the planet. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we've seen those. So quite a few of those. Oh, poor small people. Come on now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, that's gross. <laughs> to even know, yeah. Look <laughs> oh, at I'm guessing the first one the dude is actually pissing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I feel like by the time it gets to the ground, it's going to just be missed, you know? No one will yes. ever notice. I never thought about just pissing when you're, like, paragliding like that. That'd be pretty... Because who really thinks about that? Everyone! I'd like to think something I think about a lot. I think only this person did. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Let me just stop at the bathroom real quick. You gotta pee. You gotta pee, bro. First off, what are you? I'm mixed. I'm black and Mexican. What race would you be if you couldn't be black or Mexican? I would definitely be like, like, just like pitch black. Yeah, he knows what's up. Being pitch black, we giving you superpowers, bruh. Like, you didn't even know I was here the whole time. You were just watching that video. Let me not catch you lacking again, oh, bro. Let me not catch you lacking again. I didn't even know. I was like, where's this voice coming from? They were I there. Totally missed it. They were there the whole time. Totally nah, missed it. Nah, blood spawned in. Cinnamon mineral. I was gonna say, Without a doubt, that's my favorite one, just because it's a callback to an older one. It's and it's personal. We still talk about it's it. It's personal home. to us. Yeah, it's become a a, a meme at home yeah. that transcends just the YouTube channel and into our life with our son. So that's why we love that one so much. Those are good, man. I'm proud of the team because I was in, I was enjoyed those, and I hope you guys enjoyed some of those as well. Nothing like a duet to make a mediocre TikTok great. This is Lush. What would you like me to say? <laughs>